Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I want to show you a trap against London and how to avoid it. And it's something you need to especially be careful about when you play Blitz and Bullet. So d4, d5, the London move bishop f4. And here black can play weird looking move pawn h5. But you need to be careful, because if you play e3, which is the old main line, you're already losing. Let me show you why. Play e3. Black plays e5, attacking your bishop. Um, you can play this in two ways, well, three ways. You can take, you can take, or you can drop. If you take, your bishop gets trapped because of g5 and then h4. Let's go back. If you take with the bishop, same thing happens just later. F6. And then depending on where this bishop goes, here or here, there will be g5 or h4. Let's say here, g5, h4. If, let's say here first, then h4 and g5. Okay. And one last thing to note, if you drop back, exactly the same thing happens. h4 first, and after take <clears throat> f6 and g5. So you need to be very, very, very careful and don't automatically play pawn e3. Well, what do you play? Well, let's play the other good move, knight f3. It's the London move, and now you're just better. Why? Because black played h5. Which means now if black castles, this king is a little bit more open than usual. And the game just simply continues. So I hope you remember this idea. Remember if you play if you play bishop f4, if you if you play bishop f4 after h5, do not play e3, but play knight f3 instead. Uh, thank you for your attention. I'll be back soon.